Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Guitarist, where we do more everyday gear for everyday guitarists. Today we're talking about the Beatronics Fat B. First of all guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do that, hit the bell notification, it helps me to continue doing these videos and I love doing them, so do that just like every other YouTuber ever says. I know it's annoying, but if you do that, it helps me. As always in Everyday Guitarist, I use sub $1000 gear. Today I used my Yamaha RS620, kind of less poly kind of guitar, into my uh, Victory V30 Mark II uh, with the Beatronics Fat B as uh, kind of the overdrive doing all the heavy lifting. So today we're talking about this guy right here, the Beatronics Fat B. I was finally able to get a hold of one. It's a really awesome, kind of thick, chunky overdrive. As you heard in the song, it, uh, it's really massive sounding. I really like that. The first thing I'm gonna comment on, as I do in a lot of these videos, is the aesthetic of their pedals are amazing, and this is no exception. It's also a really small form factor. I would say it's, all I have is a D and M drive on my board, but it's it's small. Uh, it's very uh, compact and easily put on, on, on a board. Uh, it feels really solid, even though it's light. Uh, I like that the knobs are up here, kind of like an old school fuzz, which is really cool. And from what I understand, it's kind of like their own design. I don't even know what this would be based on. It's got its own thing going, and I love that. It's really cool. Uh, a lot of guys have shown this kind of as a drive slash heavy overdrive kind of thing uh, into a clean amp. I chose to use it into a dirty amp, which I almost always do, and I think it really, really shines there. I've been using this uh, exclusively for my lead sounds now for about a month or so, and it sounds really, really, really good that way. Even with the gain way up, it sounds really good on lead notes. Um, I, one of my favorite things, though, is with uh, a lot of gain and then putting, then stacking this on top of more gain, it does this really cool, like, compressed whoa thing, and it kind of flubs out in a really, really cool, fuzzy way. Um, you didn't really hear that in the song, just because the song didn't really lend itself to that, but it's still a really cool sound, uh, and if you get one of these, definitely kind of mess around with it. There's a lot of different applications for it. It's not just an overdrive. You can get some, some really cool fuzzy sounds, it's a good boost, it's good for a lot of things, and I really suggest checking it out if you're looking for, like, a little different. If you're looking for flavor on your board, this is a fantastic option, because it doesn't really sound like anything else. It's not an OCD, it's not a Tube Screamer. It's kind of got its own thing going on, and I really love that. It sounds awesome with both uh, humbuckers and uh, single coils. I tried it with my Tele. It actually sounds amazing with my Tele. There's a ton of clarity. Um, but if you're looking uh, for that kind of Tele, like gnarly 60s rock fuzz thing, this is in spades that, and it's really cool and unique. So if you're looking for just a really interesting, unique overdrive that does its own take on some stuff, uh, but also don't want to spend a ton of money at this price point, it's super hard to beat. Uh, it's a really great sounding overdrive, and it's really fun to just mess around with. There's a ton of different settings that you could use, and they're all usable, and I love that about it. Uh, so if you're just looking for a really great overdrive that kind of fills a void on your board of, you know, you know unique, different thing, check it out, uh, the Beatronics Fat B. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I love doing this. Um, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. Helps me continue to do these, like I said, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.